What's up guys, this is the Viper Veteran and today we're gonna be going over my, uh, one of my, it's actually my newest snake that I have in my collection now. It's a monocle cobra, Naja Kuthia. Um, this guy is actually a Form Formosa Island variant. Um, they're a little different than the mainland, only in the, in, in the fact that they're usually smaller. They don't get as large as the mainland uh, monocle cobras. Uh, where uh, mainland will push six feet, these guys usually stay four and a half feet or so. Um, they do have a postsynaptic uh, neurotoxin, uh, which means basically if you're bitten, it also has a little bit of cytotoxin which can destroy flesh and tissue. Uh, but what that means is when you're bitten, uh, it starts shutting down your muscles, uh, muscular paralysis, it can also cause uh, breathing problems, um, cardio, all that stuff. Uh, so let me get this guy out and then uh, we'll do our video. All right, guys, this is my monocle cobra, uh, Formosa Island variant. Um, I thought I'd get him out, like I said, and just kind of show you guys. He's, uh, he's being well behaved. He won't even really stand up and flare his hood right now. Hopefully he does before the end of the video. Uh, my wife actually came up with the name Oswald uh, due to it being a monocle cobra. Uh, Oswald was the name of uh, Penguin. It was, it was Penguin's real name in Batman. And of course he wore the monocle on his eye, so that's where she came up with it. Uh, as you can tell, he's being really calm. I'll try to get him to stand up for us, but uh, he's really not wanting to. Super calm snake right now. Usually. When I got him inside, uh, he usually shows out for me. Right now, he's really not wanting to, uh, probably just from being outside. It warmed up a little bit today, so I figured I'd get him out and uh, let you guys see him. But uh, like I was saying in the introduction, they do have a postsynaptic um, neurotoxin and a little cytotoxin. Uh, basically, this guy's gonna shut, shut down your muscles, shut down your breathing. Uh, you can die from this snake within 60 minutes. Uh, but usually it's a little slow acting than that. Uh, usually within two to four hours, you really start feeling the effects of the neurotoxin. Uh, as you can tell, I got him on this plastic to give him a little less grip. Um, there's a little hood for me. There we go. Now that's your typical, your typical cobra hood there. Uh, he's starting to get a little aggravated now, so we can get him to hood up a little bit for us. There we go called a monocle cobra because on the back of their neck they have the uh, round monocle shape uh, because of the variant this guy is you can't see it very well uh, it's a little bit different coloration uh, but that's why they're called a monocle cobra uh, one of their cousins the spectacle cobra has the two circles it looks like a pair of spectacles so that's where they get their name I'm hoping I can get this guy to stand up at some point Um, these guys live, they prefer, uh, wet areas like rice paddies and stuff like that, swamps. Um, they will live in grasslands and other areas, but they prefer those wet areas. These guys swim very well, extremely well. Uh, they will eat amphibians, they'll eat reptiles, uh, including other snakes. They'll eat rodents, uh, like mice and stuff like that. Still nothing. Ah, oh, he's standing up a little bit, not really flaring the hood, but. Uh, their range of vision, you'll see a lot of guys, you know, touch the back of their hood or, or kiss them on the head. Uh, if you can keep their attention in the front because their vision is kind of from the side to the front, uh, they're, they're, they don't really have vision where they can sense or see things coming from the back. So uh, uh, that's why you'll see them following the snake charmers with the flutes. They'll follow the movement. Um, that's what they pick up on the most is movement. Um, but you'll see the guys reach over, touch them on the back of the head. Because uh, when they're standing up, flared up like that, they just, they just don't have the range of vision towards the back of their bodies. It's all from the side to the front. And they'll follow motion. The guys that play the flutes and, and, and make them rock back and forth, you know, everybody thinks it's the, the sound that they're following, 
that they're charming them somehow, but it's not. They're just following the motion uh, of the guy rocking back and forth. Uh, this species, I do believe in Thailand, where, they, where they're at in Thailand, uh, causes the most deaths. There we go. We got a little hood out of him there. Come on, buddy, hood up for me again. He is giving us a little shh. There's a little hood for me, there we go. Now that's your typical, your typical cobra hood there. Uh, he's starting to get a little aggravated now, so we can get him to hood up a little bit for us, there we go. Yeah, he's really got that hood open. Let's see if we can get a little more of that out of him. I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but he's he's hissing, which that's a, a threat display. I can hiss back, buddy. See there? Now he's picking up on the motion. And that's the reason I can touch the back of his head because he's watching what's in front of him. He can't really see what's going on behind him. You'll see the guys kiss them on their head or stuff like that. I'm not gonna do all that with him. He's not even really big enough for all that. When they're small like this, they're uh, extremely quick. Kind of hard to deal with if they're upset, so. There's, there we go. I gotta flare up again. Let's go back over here, buddy. See if we can get some more out of him. And there's that hood. A good hood right there. Really awesome snake. I really like it a lot. Uh, they are a lapid which means they have fixed front fangs. Uh, they're a small fang, it's, it's in the front. It doesn't hinge or, or bend over or, or uh, uh, be able, they, don't, they can't move their fangs around like what a pit viper or, or viper would be able to do. Uh, it's just a fixed fang in the front. Uh, but don't, don't be fooled just because they have small fangs and they're, they're, they're fixed that way. These guys can, can pack a powerful punch. Um, I said, like I said, they're neurotoxic and cytotoxic, but the, uh, the cytotoxin, what it does is destroy tissue. Um, a lot of people that are bitten within a couple hours, they feel a lot of pain and heat uh, at the bite location. Uh, and then, then they'll have some muscular paralysis and then they're breathing, it gets hard for them to breathe. I'm just happy we got him finally flaring that hood for us a little bit. And as you can see, he's reluctant to bite. These guys really, they want to escape. It's usually when you get them, get them cornered is when they're going to fight. Uh, if there's not an escape route, uh, they're going to stand like this and they're going to stand their ground. I haven't really gotten a strike out of him. I was hoping you got get you guys get to see a strike. He's really starting to show out a little bit and that's good. That's what I was hoping. As you can see, kind of see the front of the hood. Has some markings there. Uh, and this hood, the way they make this hood, it's, it's, a, it's a skin kind of a looser skin there and they have a modified rib and they open the ribs and that's when the hood flares. But no strike, he's really not even, uh, they usually, when they do strike, they give a 
they uh, exhale air uh, through their glottis, which is the hole in the bottom of their mouth. Uh, and what that's actually used for is when they eat something, of course, they eat things that are a lot bigger than, but bigger than their head usually, so they have to be able to breathe. And that glottis allows them to breathe while their mouth's full. He's being a good boy for us. Good little fella here. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you would, go down below and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I try to post videos like this at least once every couple of weeks with my snakes. Um, springtime's coming up here pretty soon, so we'll be going out to find some more snakes, uh, some wild snakes. We'll do a lot of video with those guys. Uh, but this is something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, I've always wanted to be able to do this as a career. Uh, handle snakes, teach other people about snakes. Uh, so if you would, please subscribe to my channel. It really supports me. Uh, keeps me going, keeps the channel going when I know I'm, I'm making a difference in people. Uh, there's no reason to fear these animals. Like I teach, it's knowledge over fear and hate, guys. So if you would, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can comment below maybe some other snakes you'd like to see in the future. Uh, and anytime I get a new snake or catch a snake, I'll always post it for you guys. But thank you very much.